Hi everybody, I'm Doc Shocker, and welcome to Knights of Pen and Paper. Um, in our last episode, we defended Sunset Castle against hordes of enemies, and as a result, managed to parlay that into some uh, good upgrades, I believe for all the members of our party. Um, I think from here we're going to continue on, uh, maybe head back to Journey Village. I'm not sure if our level is quite high enough to get us going on the next set of quests, um, but I'd like to continue on to the story if possible. So we'll head down that way and see what we have in store for us. Alright, and not a single random encounter to bog us down. Let's see what we have. Still level 27, so we've got a little bit of grinding to do. Um, hmm... Level 15, level 6, level 12, level 20. Yeah, let's head out to the Flying Dice and see what we have out here. Maybe we can get us in some trouble. Escort. We can escort a clown. That's always good. Got some battles and an escort. Uh... I think we'll start out, we'll do this level 21 monster book. Fight in a range battle. Such a good looking place, it would be terrible if it was filled with devious monsters, huh? Your observation was quite right. What, oh, what a gentleman. Your party is being attacked. Oh my. So, we'll go with the old standby here. Feral Rage against that feller. Have our paladin start tanking some damage. Weaken some of our foes. And we will start stacking up the damage over time effects. More spectacular heals from our cleric. Get a little more damage over time going there. Start spreading out the damage a little bit. That was that. Our 69.38 experience and 77 gold with a weak sapphire ring. That was an easy quest. Another 60 or 6,060 experience, 30 gold to claim as our own. And we're escorting the clown. Oh my, what are you doing here? You're a clown. You don't belong here. I was looking for my wig when I suddenly realized I was too far away from home. And by home you mean... Sunset Castle. Wow. It's indeed way too far from here. Would you take me to Sunset Castle? 
Why, sure, we'll take you to Sunset Castle. standard operating procedure here. Since we're in the desert, ice seems to be uh, slightly more effectiveness than the fire, although the damage over time effect is rather useful most of the time. And we'll hit the road yet again. And on and on we go. <gasps> Another fight. Shocking. But I suppose I shouldn't be too surprised as the difficulty of this mission is only for level 9 parties, so we're well over twice that. You're now home. Take care next time. Hey guys, look what I found. My wig! Yay! At least you found it. Now I may entertain the king again. My question... <clears throat> is the clown really all that entertaining? I can't say I've ever been a huge fan of clowns, but... I suppose if they keep finding work, there's somebody out there who's uh, enjoying it. Yoga Village? See what the middle field has to offer. Hundred and six critical hit from the rogue. That's some good stuff, I gotta say. Just see about trying to rain damage on everybody here. All right. 
right. How to try and camp. Success. Let's see what kind of missions we have to offer. Travel. We can slay. We can escort a dog. Well, it looks like we've got some slay missions to do, so we'll start out with the tiny deadly spider. It's time to summon some of my minions. You'll have to defeat them. Bring them on. Beat seven tiny deadly spider in one or more battles to complete the quest. Uh, we'll do this in bite-sized chunks. The payout is considerably better, and that is what we're out here to do. Is to gain experience, so I should probably be fighting larger groups. Maybe in our next fight, I think I'd just rather spend the first fight to kind of gauge the strength of uh, the enemies here, and that was really dumb. Not the smartest move I could have made. I should have just focused on one specific target. Might this time. Get, just get that spider out of the way. Or, well, get it down low enough where it'll just kill itself. If that's the case. Smite isn't really doing a whole heck of a lot these days, but there's always that chance. Our first fight was good for 53-52 experience, 39 gold, lesser health potion. I think uh, in our next fight we should be able to take it up to four or five opponents. I don't think it'll be too terrible. Another good night of rest, so we're all healed up. May as well swing for the fences. So we'll go for him first, since he'll be the first of the enemies to strike. Say I'm a huge fan of that sleep effect they seem to have. sequence of hits from the rogue. But pretty sure that's why he's there. At least in one of the builds I always experimented with in the old Dungeons and Dragons days. Because while in later editions of the game, the rogues were viewed as more of a, a skill-based class, but uh, in my bread and butter, which would have been Advanced Dungeons & Dragons 2nd Edition, um, they were kind of, uh, while still a utility character, they were also pretty profound damage dealers, but squishy. 10,407 experience for uh, 
the five spiders, 40 experience, er, a 40% bonus for the group, 74 gold, and a weak emerald ring. Which is enough to level everybody up. Always good stuff. Strong you are in what you have learned. Pocket the rest of this experience in gold. And I think we'll level up our party. Five turns. I think we're going to put a point into the Paladin's passive. One into Deep Freeze. One into the Rogue's Poison passive ability. probably try and bring Smite up a little bit, just to kind of keep it on an even keel with as fast as enemies are getting tough. Um, Not sure why I wasn't putting points into a sleep attack, um, but we're just going to st stay with the Feral Rage. Uh, let's see what other... Oh, looks like we burned up the Slay mission. Um, hmm. Guess we'll travel to the Goblin Hideout. You found a really strange note on the ground. It says, you should come visit us at the Goblin Hideout. The note doesn't look good, nor is it well written. It's obviously a goblin trap. Nah, this looks legit. Why would goblins dislike us? Let's visit them. Let's visit them. Probably would have been a prudent choice to... Oh, we all leveled up, so I don't need to stop and rest in Sunset Castle. You've arrived at the Goblin's Hideout. You should look around for some quests. So you did come visit us, huh? Yeah, we found your note in the middle field. It asked for us to come. Sweet invite. Party's being attacked. Wow. Certainly, certainly are. Provide some epic heals for a paladin. Whoop on the elite a little bit more. No problem. Got 
Got 11,571 experience and 123 gold, as well as a snowflake. Awesome. Ugh. Less done. Yes, we did enjoy it after all. 6,675 experience, 32 gold for the party. Uh, we have some more sleigh missions. Which I think we'll, we'll do one more mission and then probably end it for this episode. So we may as well swing for the fences. Do I even need to tell you that you must defeat some goblins? Kill seven goblin chiefs in one or more battles to complete the quest. As always, I was a bit of a dummy there and felt it best not to uh, rest after that last fight, but. I'm pretty sure we'll be okay. We do out-level these elites a little bit. Oh, a tune of about four levels, which that's nothing to scoff at, certainly. Let's get a circle of healing. Restoration for our Paladin. I probably should have hit them with some ice, I'm thinking. Since it was only a single target anyway, and he was already burning. Um... Can't all have pro strats. 8,654 experience for the party, 61 gold. Uh, so let's get some. get our rest on, which looks like we're going to be fighting anyway. But we've got some of our magic back, and that's the important part. I wasn't too concerned on the hit point front at all. And we will get credit for one more Goblin Chief. So, not a total loss that we were ambushed in our sleep. And that is that. We're 4,304 experience, 36 gold. Alright, looks like we get to sleep the night. Three more goblin chiefs. sure they are suitably weakened. 
and suitably on fire. Eight thousand six hundred and fifty-four experience for the party, and sixty-one gold, and an egg. It was fun, he said. Everyone likes beating down some goblins. Thirty-two gold, six thousand six hundred and seventy-five experience for the party. And I think that's a good enough place to leave off for today's episode of Knights of Pen and Paper. Uh, if you like what you've seen, be sure to like, comment, share, favorite. Silk screen your own t-shirts if you want. Be sure to leave comments, questions, critiques. Let me know how I'm doing. I always want to hear from you guys. Um, you can find me on Facebook at facebook.com slash docshocker2099. Um, and with that, I've been Doc Shocker. You've been great. Happy gaming. <laughs>